a shout out this guy and this guy for letting me and maybe another guy? Yeah. Who is that? Hey, I heard you're interested in the job. My daughter is really interested in collecting dolls. The room on the lower level of the house is connected to the crawl space. Uh, that's uh, the name uh, of the game. I know what's going on here. here. They're starting to freak me out. Hey, it's all right, man. You called the, the right dude. I would love crawling into girls' rooms uh, to Your steal their dolls. Sure is that what's happening? Did he say I get the dolls? Is, hold on, I wasn't uh, listening. I, I know it sounds weird, so... No, man, hey, listen, you give that, me the location and the crawl space really that little hole to crawl in. I'm also, completely thing, fine with uh, crawling into your daughter's room and getting a peek in there. Our own safety. It unlocks once you finish your work. Uh, I should have listened. Like he unlocked, unlocked something. 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 So is this man something. paying me something. to crawl something. through a crawl space into his daughter's room and just to just to peek in there? He called an expert. I'm crawling into little girls' rooms across the nation. People call me from Delaware. Texas. That's my only two states, really, that I that I can do my work in. Every other state has these certain laws. They don't like the cross. Oh, how do I get up? Please subscribe. I love you. Please. Hello. Oh, I should have read what was on TV. Probably right. Blood. Get up. It's time to get get to work. How are we gonna get through these crawl spaces if you're stuck sitting down, man? Point at something with your right hand and press trigger. I meant to just sit here. Oh my god. You don't even walk around. You just teleport. Okay, so it says go in here. And then after that, nothing matters. You Nothing is anywhere. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, I could get a little sock on myself hold on i could look at some uh art let's get out of here yeah let's get the hell out of here actually night one the door will not unlock until the missing doll is returned damn this lady has some serious serious mistake uh, these dolls oh and she's got the terror room the f am i how did that happen wasn't i just inside how did i get inside of a hole i don't know i don't know where the hole came from oh that's why the gorilla tag type people are saying play this game I can't tell you how much I love that monkey game navigation has become its own mode of uh, moving around in games. Every time you pick up a controller and you're playing a game, you're pretty much like, oh, yeah, this is just a first person. Sh I'm moving around like this. I know what I'm doing. And now we load up a monkey game type game and immediately you're like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm getting around. I'm jumping. It's the best mode of transport in VR, especially in horror games. Whenever it really matters, you getting away fast. If you're just sitting there and you hold forward on a joystick, that's not really too interesting. You're just holding forward and you're like, oh, I hope I get there soon, you know. When this is in your control and it really matters how fast you sling yourself and it gets your heart rate. It's a good, it's a monkey game good. I love monkey game. Monkey game real good. Hello? Oh, there's a doll, right? Hey, baby, you need some clothes on. It's cold down here. There's bugs and uh, other things. You can place a game on top of your head. Damn right I can. I'm trying to be as efficient as I can in this job. Transporting the dolls on my head under the crawl space. The girl's up at like trying to sleep and she's like, Daddy, I keep hearing people under the floors. And he's like, he's like, ah! Ah! I paid that man so good money, you're gonna keep your mouth quiet. He's cleaning up all them dolls that you left behind. You made me do this. You hear that man under the bed? He's going to get... Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, by the way, here's a message for those two guys that told me about this game. Do you think I'm a joke? Look at, look at this. Look at... Am I a joke to you? Look at, look at, look at, look at this. What is this? You see this baby on my Is this some kind of joke to you? Whenever I ask for recommendations, you just thought you'd kind of get a little joke off? You'd get a little troll? I don't like it when people troll me. Is this something you're gonna... Well, where'd the baby go? Oh, sorry, baby. I didn't mean to take you off my head. Oh, hold on. That's my... Dude, I can't move around. Can I grab something like this and go around? Dude, that's crazy. What do I do with it now? How about I take all those dolls, put them inside that closet, and, like, lock the closet? How about I put them all in there and, like, catch it on fire? What, what, what should I do here? Oh, the tiny door. That's a full-size door that somehow opens to... Hold on. Let me go in there one more time. Bro. It's a full-size door. It goes all the way up. But there's this piece of thing here that would not let it open this way. And on the outside... Hold on. Let's go back out there to the outside. Hold on. <laughs> and out here, it's it's covered by something too. That doesn't make any sense, game. Once again, two guys. Do you think this is a joke? 
Hello? Oh, do I go over here and place the doll back? Oh, I want this baby too, though. It's like, I know it was my job, but then I got to see in all the babies and girls. Is this so wrong just to bring home one? I mean, I was the one crawling through there. Shouldn't I get to take home the babies? The babies? The babies? The babies. Uh, okay. So does this mean like a scary baby could be coming after my legs right now? And I would be having to scan my hand very slowly and be scared about it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that has some kind of baby baby mechanic to go along with it. Patrick Slow Metal. Hey, how's it going? Good? That's great. Hey, where am I right now? I'll give you a few tips before these next few nights. Now that you know what you're in for. So this is like Five Night Freddy. Mix the puppy playtime. Mix the good attack. Mix with mini games. I should have been listening. Something with long arms. We're counting on you. Dude, what I would do in situations like these where it's like at nighttime, these things turn evil. Most people would be like, oh, I'd just tear the doll apart, you know, during the day so it wouldn't turn evil at night. What I'd do is I would take one of those plastic babies and like throw it in the dryer, throw it in the oven or something to shrink the plastic and get it all shriveled up. I'd melt that plastic down into a sphere. Maybe even something that goes out into a rounded tip, you know, something easy to, to insert places. Then I'd kind of... <coughs> And I'd put it a decent distance. The furthest downside would be only like an inch away from the exit, you know? But I'd, I, so I'd get it up in there. I'd get it up in there. I would have like sanded it down, smoothed it out so it didn't like stab me or anything. I think all of us have seen enough inanimate objects becoming possessed movies and games to know that no matter what you do, if you cut the thing and if you do this, it's still awake and sentient. If you rip its arm off, the arm's gonna like crawl its way back to the body and just get picked up and back on there. So I'm assuming once I melt this plastic down into the spheroid shape. It's still gonna contain the sentience. But once it comes back alive, it'll realize it has no way to articulate its body. And that it's submerged deep deep up inside of my ass. At that point, I stand in front of the drawer, I turn around backwards, I squat down, I relieve myself of this plastic jewel. Just so all the other babies can look. Look at what I just did. You see this pile, this sad pile on the ground? That could be you, or you could be nice little dolls standing in the closet thing, all right? It can go one of two ways. All right, so now there's two monsters gonna get me. I'm all right with that. Right. If uh, the long-armed one goes, I stop moving, right? If I were this dude, I'd feel the- ah! no! Yeah, if I were this dude, I'd fill this entire crawl space up with concrete. It's like, hey, you guys, this playground's done. It's been revoked. I made that little door just for you guys to be able to chill out inside of there. But yeah, that's gone too far. Now you're out here killing people and all that. It's just- it's, it's just- it's just- it's just- you get away from me! Ah! Oh, escape his line of sight is the way to do it with that one. Alright, thank you, TV. I don't do. Yeah, no did. I like the content they chose for the TV. That is pretty good. Uh, night two, Morty? Like Rick and Morty? Hold on. Ah! Dude, f*** you, game. I'm done. You see that cheap shot this game just took on me and my own? Tell me if you think something as such should be permissible. But before you answer, be sure to remember. Ah, is that okay? Is that okay for me to say? Please tell me. Binky Boy, Black Raptor, and Kali are $3 month Patreon friends. I love you all so much for watching. And bless you all. Thank you for everything ever. And also, yes.